Holidays at the time of the coronavirus come with many questions and awkward conversations attached. Yeah, but there are steps that you can take to ease some of that stress ahead of those family gatherings. Health reporter Haley Hernandez joining us live in the newsroom with some helpful tips leading into the holiday season. Haley? Yeah, guys, so first of all, you just want to set the expectation for safety. If it is at your home and you want guests to wear masks, use hand sanitizers, you got to tell them that before the holiday to avoid those awkward confrontations. If you are anxious knowing that you or your family don't see eye to eye on safety precautions, here's how to relieve that looming holiday anxiety pandemic style. It's the time of year to be thankful for everything you have, and yet some can't get past what we don't in 2020. The CDC guidelines echoing local recommendations that you don't gather in large groups this year. Dr. Andrea Taylor with UT Health says you can choose how you want to focus on that. You know what? I can actually even connect with more people this Thanksgiving. Um, because I can, I can Zoom with them when normally I would just be at one person's home or I'd be trying to make it from this person's home to this person's home. If the holidays always make you a little anxious, now's your year to make it simple and plan ahead. It could be as simple as saying, someday when I can sit down, I'm going to prepackage the utensils and wrap those in, in a napkin. So those are clean and set aside. Staying mindful through the chaos by focusing on your breathing or your senses can help too. I'm going to focus on what it feels like to have my feet on the ground in this moment. And so part of what that does is it takes me out of the, well, what's going to happen down the line and I've got this and I've got that to do. It just brings me back right here, right now. If things get too stressful, discreetly leave the room or sit in your car for a few minutes. Say, oh, I'll be right back. I need to take care of something. They don't need to know that the thing that you need to take care of is you. Now, if trying to host the holidays the traditional way only sets you up for disappointment that things are not the same this year, Taylor suggests make it totally different. Create new traditions by cooking a different meal, for example. Who knows, maybe lobster or chicken wings become something new at your Thanksgiving table that you can joke about years down the road when things are back to the traditional way. Now, these are just a few lighthearted suggestions for dealing with holiday stress, but we're going to dive much deeper into this topic in our Ask Two panel Thursday night. I'm hosting with Chris Gutierrez as a panel of mental health experts to ask questions that you have about holiday stress. You can submit those questions via video chat or to me privately. Details are on our website and I've posted it on my Facebook page. Keith and Christine.